Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create custom fireplaces using the 3D wall editing tools within the 3D floor planner. So you can see that we have a few options here that we're gonna be covering. I'm gonna show you the exact steps that I took to create this marble slab fireplace. I'll also show you how you can add tile and also create a stone wall as well as adding in a mantle. So we've got a lot to cover. Let's just go ahead, we're gonna jump right in and I'll show you how this works. Now the first thing you need to know is that if you want to access the wall editing tools, you need to be in the 3D perspective mode, which is this mode right here. If you're in the floor plan mode or the 3D top down, you just need to jump over to the 3D perspective mode. And then what you can do is just click directly on the wall that you're gonna edit. You'll see a tool tip appear that has a little pencil on it. Click on that and that will bring you into the wall editor. Now we've got the wall showing here. We've got the measurements showing for this wall. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add a paint color before we build out the fireplace. So in the uh, right side panel over here, which is our texture library, you're gonna see paint at the top. If you click into that, you'll be able to see the collections and you can click into any of those collections and you can search by color name or by color code, or you can just search. And if you find a color you like, click on it, click directly on the wall and it will fill it in. Now down here in the bottom left hand corner, you're gonna see your 3D previewer. If you want to expand this, you can just click on the blue areas. So just click and hold with the left button on your mouse and drag it out to expand it and drag it in to contract it. Now the great thing about the 3D previewer is that whatever edits you make on this wall, they're gonna show in the 3D preview. So you can see how this is all coming together for your 3D design. For now, I'm just, well actually, let's expand this out a little bit and we'll have a look at this fireplace. Now this fireplace is the one that I'm gonna recreate and it's basically made up of five different rectangular shapes. We've got two for the base, the kind of larger thick base here and then we've got a little thin decorative top that has a bit of a lip that hangs over. And then we've got three different rectangular shapes here that are all just kind of slightly inset. So let's go ahead, we'll build this fireplace from the ground up and I'll show you how to do this. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. Now, I'm gonna start by creating the base. So we're gonna click this rectangular tool right here. I'm gonna click anywhere on the edge of this wall. And then we're just gonna move the mouse out. And as I do that, you're gonna see the measurements show as I move out my mouse. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click to release this so you can see what it looks like. Now in this case, I actually want this base to just be five inches. So I'm gonna click on this edge here and we're just gonna drag this down until I have it where I want it, right there, five inches. And I also want this wall to be, uh, we'll just make our, or sorry, not the wall, this rectangular shape for the width of this fireplace to be seven feet. So I'm just gonna click on this edge and I'm just gonna drag it in. Okay, so we've got our measurements accurate here. The next thing I'll show you here is that you can see the measurements on either side of it. So if you wanted to center this within your wall, you can just click directly into this rectangular shape and then you can just use the left and right arrows here just to move it one inch at a, or one quarter inch at a time, I should say, until you have it where you want it. All right. So now let's go ahead. We'll make that little thin decorative top to the hearth that's going to extend a little bit over the main base. So again, back to the rectangle tool here, click on that. I'm gonna click directly on one of the points that I made for the original base here, and I'm gonna add in my next rectangular shape. And I want this to be one and a half inches here. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building out the main bulk of this fireplace. So back to the rectangular tool, we're gonna to create another rectangular shape. This one I'm gonna make four and a half. So we'll just click here and I'm gonna just slightly, yeah, I'm just gonna pull that down to four and a half here. And then what I need to do is, let's just expand this out. I need to add in a, a rectangle that's just slightly inside that edge so I can create this little thin edge here. And I'm gonna have another one just kind of sitting in the middle uh, so that we can create these different levels for the fireplace. Okay. So back to the rectangular tool, I'm gonna to click directly on the top edge of the hearth because this shape is gonna come all the way down to that and sit directly on it. And then we'll just create another rectangular shape here. Now I'm gonna zoom in here because I actually want the distance between this to just be one and a half inches. 
and I want it to be one and a half inches here. And we are gonna make this, oh, actually we are good to go, that's perfect. All right, so the last one that I have to make now is just the inner one. So we're gonna add the textures and we're gonna extrude things just shortly, but I just want to have all of my rectangular shapes in place. So again, I'm gonna click on the rectangular tool. We're gonna to add in one more here. And in this case, I want, if I zoom in here, I actually want this one to be 10 inches for the gap here, 10 inches, perfect. And then we're just going to make this, okay. All right, so we've got all of these shapes in place. Now let's start getting into the fun stuff and we'll start adding in some textures. So I'm gonna back all the way out to the main texture library. We're gonna go into the marble slabs. Um, there's lots of options to choose from, so just go ahead and browse. And then when you find one you like, click on it, and we're gonna add it to all of these individual uh, rectangular shapes. So when I add the marble slab in to the rect uh, rectangular shape, you'll see that this panel changes if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the extrusion tool. I'm gonna to extrude this out eight inches, so it's gonna come out eight inches into the space. I'm then gonna add this texture to all my other rectangular shapes. And because I want this area to be slightly inset, I'll make this one six inches. And I also want this area to be slightly inset from the other one, so I'm gonna make this four inches. Now I'm also gonna add that same marble slab to the hearth area. I do want the hearth area to extend a little farther out, so I'm gonna make this, let's say, 11 inches, and I'm gonna add that little, the texture to that little decorative lip on the top here, and we'll make this 12 inches just so it overhangs slightly. Now, if I go into the 3D previewer here, you're gonna see that this fireplace is starting to take shape. So let's go ahead, we'll save this wall, and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of built out. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually just gonna add the insert here. So let's go into, uh, da, 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 da. we're gonna go into the product library and we're gonna look for, we'll search for fireplace. And then you'll see some options that you can use like this to add to your fireplace. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this one right here. I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna add it directly to the fireplace. And what I'm actually, let's have a look at this. Yep, it's just rotated around. I just need to rotate this around so that it's facing the correct way. And then we'll pull this down. I want it to look like it's sitting directly on the hearth area. And then what I can do is I can just change the dimensions. So we'll just change this to 36 inches. Maybe we make this 26 and I don't need it to stick out that far, the five and a half inches, so I'm just gonna knock it down to two. And there you have it. Pretty clean, quick and easy to build marble slab fireplace. Now, if you wanna see how I built out this one right here, let's go ahead and we'll click into this. In this case, it was actually even simpler because this is just three different rectangular shapes, one for the main body of the fireplace that's gonna go all the way to the ceiling, then we also have the base for the hearth, and then on top of the hearth, there's a little bit of a decorative um, slate edge. So I basically just created a thin rectangular shape and added in a different texture to that one. So that's pretty simple overall uh, structure for this fireplace. And if I save this, you can see that, well actually, let's go back into that just for one second here. We've got the three shapes and I should have clicked into this because if you go down over to the extrusion tool, you can see that I extruded this eight inches and the base I think I did 24, yeah. This one was 24 for both this and for that slate little thin uh, rectangular shape that's just gonna be the slate tile that's gonna sit on top of the hearth. So pretty basic shape and then again, you can follow the same steps to add the insert here. If you wanna add a mantle, uh, just go into the products, you can look for wood beam or, and you'll see some options here, or you could also look for mantle. And then you'll see again, some options that you can use to add to your fireplace. When you find one you like, click on it and then just click to add it to your fireplace. You can then 
zoom in here and you can select it and you can move it up and down and you can also change the dimensions of it over here. Now one last thing that I'll cover here, let's just zoom out a bit. Let's say you want to add a tile face to your fireplace like this one right here. So let's click into this. There are a number of tile options that are available to you within this new wall editor. So in this case, I actually just picked a marble tile. I believe it was this one right here. Now, when I click into this, you're gonna see all these options that are available. And I wanted to go over some of these with you because you do have the ability to rotate the tile. So if I brought this back down to zero degrees, you're gonna see that the original tile looked like this. I wanted it to sit more horizontally, so I just rotated it 90 degrees. You could also do 45 degrees if you wanna just show it more on an angle, completely up to you. Um, you also have the ability to increase the horizontal and vertical scale. So if I bring this down, actually let's just do a, a solid number here. So let's bring it down to 100. We'll bring this down to 100 and you can see how it's changing the shape. If I bump it up to 150, which I believe is what I originally had it at here, you'll see how you can increase the size. You also have the ability to do a horizontal and vertical offset. So if you added tile and you had a large tile over here and a little sliver of a tile over here, then you can change the horizontal offset here. Let's just drag this out so that you can get everything nice and clean and centered so that you have the tile kind of placed in a way that looks more pleasing. So go ahead and play around with the horizontal and the vertical offset. So the vertical is the same thing. If you had a little sliver of tile up here and a big thick tile at the bottom and you wanted to even it out, then you can, ex uh, you can experiment with the vertical offset and just get everything placed exactly the way you want it. When you're ready, go ahead and hit save and then you'll see how everything is showing within your 3D floor plan. So there you have it. We've created three different types of fireplaces. One that has a variety of different insets and uses a marble slab. We've got another one here that is just kind of a clean modern one with a large tile, large mar uh, marble tile. And then over here, more of a traditional style fireplace where you've got your stone wall, floor to ceiling, your wooden mantle and your hearth area as well. So if you wanna get into your Design Files account and give these features a try, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, you'll be able to create so many more custom shapes and structures for your 3D designs. It really opens up a world of possibilities. So pop in, give these new features a try. As always, let us know what you think and thanks so much for watching.